Hi darlings, in this video we are going to discuss about animal cell. First place cell. Cell are the structural and functional unit of life. Structural means all the body of organism is made up of cells. And functional unit of life means all the chemical reactions in our body is taking place by the cells. This cells is the reason why we are living today. Cells are mainly divided into two types, prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Pro means primitive, karyotic means nucleus. The cells of prokaryotic won't have the nuclear membrane and these prokaryotic cells won't have the membrane bound organelles. Membrane bound organelles are absent in prokaryotic cells. Kingdom Monaria is the example for this prokaryotic cells and remaining all the kingdoms that is fungi, protista, plantae, animalia is the example for eukaryotic cells. In this eukaryotic cells all the membrane organelles are present and U means advanced, karyotic means nucleus. It is advanced type of nucleus. Plant cell. The plant cells are normally hexagonal or polygonal in shape. The size of the plant cells or animal cells varies but normally in plant cells the shape is hexagonal or polygonal. The outermost layer of the cell is the plasma membrane. Next or outside to the plasma membrane is present a cell wall. This cell wall is made up of a cellulose. This cellulose is a polysaccharide contains a a chain of glucose monomers. This cell wall is absent in the animal cells and it in some places of this cell wall the cellulose is absent and known as the pit. Through this pit the exchange of substances takes place between the cells and inside to this plasma membrane is the jelly lake material or gelatinous material known as the cytoplasm. In plant cells vacuole is the single and it occupies the most of the space. Because of this the nucleus is shifted towards the one side. In the vacuole is present a liquid material and this liquid material is full in rich of minerals and water and known as the sap. Nucleus is not towards the center and it is shifted towards the one side. This nucleus is a double membrane structure. This is the nuclear membrane. In between this nuclear membrane there is a gap is present known as the nuclear pore. Inside this nuclear pore is all a liquid material known as the nucleoplasm. In this nucleoplasm is present a dark state body known as the nucleolus and a long thread like structures are present known as the chromatin fibers. In this chromatin fibers the DNA is present. From, uh, from the nuclear membrane a tube like structures arises known as the endoplasmic reticulum and this endoplasmic reticulum is of two types smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. On this endoplasmic reticulum there is a dot like structures are present known as the ribosomes. These ribosomes are ATS type in eukaryotic cells. On some endoplasmic reticulums these ribosomes are absent and known as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And where the ribosomes are present on endoplasmic reticulum and such type of endoplasmic reticulums are known as the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Next organelle is the Golgi complex. Compared to the animal cell, in plant cell more number of Golgi complex are present and this Golgi complex is slightly away from the nucleus but the convex side of the Golgi complex is towards the plasma membrane. This Golgi complex in case of plant cells is also known as the dicytosome. Next organelle is the mitochondria. This mitochondria is a double membrane organelle and inner membrane tears into inner side and known as the crista and this mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell. In plant cell the number of lysosomes are less and it is also known as the spirosomes and cytoskeleton substance is also present which gives the framework or support to the cell. This plant cell contains the chloroplast. Presence of chloroplast is the unique character of the plant cell. In this plant cell contains a double membrane structures and both the outer membrane and the inner membrane are smooth. Inside this chloroplast present a, a group or a stalk of, stalk of thylakoids and these thylakoids are known as the granules. Inside these granules are present a green pigments which helps in the photosynthesis. Spirosomes, peroxisomes and glycoxisomes are named as microbodies and these are also present in small quantity in the plant cell. Cell wall is present in the plant cell and chloroplast is also present in the plant cell. Presence of chloroplast is the unique character of these plant cells where the cell wall is absent in the animal cell but it is present in the plant cell. 
centrinoles are present in the animal cell but in plant cell these centrinoles are absent chloroplast is won't present in the animal cell but it is present in the plant cell because of this chloroplast photosynthesis takes place in the plant cell